I literally woke up at acupuncture one day and said, like, I want to do VR and AR. I'm Jenny Dorsey. Um, I'm a chef, writer, and artist based here in New York City. My specialty is combining culinary arts with bigger social impact stories. I really especially like to explore the themes of vulnerability and identity through food and drink. I've been playing with other platforms of exploring that, such as virtual reality, augmented reality, poetry, and spoken word. It all kind of started with this uh, impromptu video series with a media outlet called Lucky Rice where they wanted to highlight a couple of my dishes that had some sort of tie-in with my Chinese heritage. I made those dishes, I talked about the stories and the influence of not only my memories or the feelings or the people that were involved in them, but also what I wanted diners to feel or talk about, some of the topics um, that I hope this sort of plate, these plates would um, spur. And in that, realized there's tons of room here to explore, um, easily seven courses, um, easily more than that if I wanted it to be. But how do I make it something that isn't just so niche, so like Asian, it's almost like this word that people kind of shy away from because they don't want to feel ostracized. Um, so instead, how do you make it into an experience that people will want to come to and like open the floor for both Asian Americans and allies to experience something new and be able to interact in a different way. It was definitely really challenging starting a new project in virtual reality when I come from a non-tech background and also just had no idea what it was um, before I literally woke up at acupuncture one day and said like, I want to do VR and AR. Honestly, I think people had no idea what I was talking about because I didn't know what I was talking about. So I, I spent a good chunk of time just learning, like Googling, yes, but also emailing everyone I could find and asking for informational interviews. And one of the things that helped me a lot was actually starting a newsletter, a news newsletter about VR and AR before I knew anything about VR and AR. I just said, I'm going to start compiling the news about AR and VR and send it to the five people in my newsletter, um, which has now go grown to like 300 people in my newsletter. I started using virtual reality alongside food when I realized I've been hosting a lot of communal dinners for the last few years. One of the great things about com communal dining is you get to interact with different people that you don't know, many times strangers. And we always try to create an environment where people feel safe to have these conversations that might be a little deeper, a little bit more personal, a little bit scarier than they might have with people they don't know. However, throughout the course of the evening, I could kind of feel where people were starting to feel that, like, oh, I'm kind of tired. Someone else is kind of dominating the conversation. You feel that lull. Extroverts will sit there for 10 hours and talk. You know, that's what they like to do. But introverts, not so much. And then you lose so much of like what they can offer. Virtual reality has added a really nice component to that in that you actually give back some personal space and personal time for people to be in the headsets themselves, to have the interaction with the art in an unfiltered and very like raw way where they don't have to listen to other people's opinions. They don't have to hear other people's thoughts. They're just there for two and a half, three minutes or so, and they kind of like get that restorative niche. And we find that when guests come out of VR, they're more engaged, they wanna talk, they wanna tell people what they saw and how they felt. They feel refreshed to go through the rest of the evening. So Asian America has really been kind of a, a passion project of how do I communicate some of my feelings and some of my experiences with the greater world and create a space where people can also share ex maybe experiences that are similar or a little different, but I think rooted in kind of the same ideas and be able to open up about things that were painful or harmful or sad in their past but have ultimately helped them grow into the person they are today.